Dear colleagues, we would like to share with you recent trends with regards to criminal risks in case of tax non-compliance. What would happen if your company has committed tax underpayment? Alongside with fines and penalties, criminal investigation could start. And currently, criminal risks are at the highest level. When did the last tax audit take place? Or maybe your company is subject of tax inspection right now? Or you are already appealing results of tax audit? If not yet, what are the chances that your company will be selected for tax audit soon? There may be different reasons for tax underpayment. Some trivial mistakes in calculations, lack of primary documents, poor coordination between different departments, human factor in processing the data, not to mention intentional or negligent tax evasion. We will not discuss cases of fraudulent schemes and real tax crimes as we assume these are not relevant to you. In today's world, with transparent and instantaneous transmission of bad news on social media, the great majority of companies try to be compliant in all aspects, including tax. Stakeholders such as employees, suppliers, shareholders, regulators know immediately if you are not compliant. The threshold for the assess tax liabilities for criminal investigation by the Economic Investigation Service is around 140,000 US dollars. This is a very low figure indeed, especially when the tax audit covers five years. There is no concept of proportionality of punishment to damaged cost. So who could be under the risk of criminal investigation? It is company employees responsible for accounting and tax compliance, as well as those who sign the tax returns. In other words, it could be the general manager, finance manager, chief accountant, a tax manager, or any other responsible employee. How has the criminal legislation developed lately? Business Initiative on Decriminalization came into life in July 2017 in the form of a note to Article 245 of the Criminal Code. The intention of such amendment to legislation was bona fide, but in practice some AS officials that are aware of voluntary payment of taxes in order to release the company's employees from criminal liability offer such employees to sign a player bargain. This is in nature is an admission of guilt, meaning that certain employees shall admit that he or she is guilty of tax evasion. How acceptable is this compromise to you personally and to your company? The EIS ignores uncertainty, ambiguity, contradictions and unclear provisions of the tax legislation which form the legislative framework of the business to take decisions on controversial tax questions. So in the given circumstances, can we say that there is a trust between the taxpayers and the tax authorities? The definite answer is no. Can we say that this affects the investment climate? The answer is yes. Thus, we believe that there is a need, strong need for the change. Due to that, we have developed a number of proposals to make the system more transparent, to eliminate the grey areas. Because we definitely believe that the investigators and the tax authorities have to determine if there actually was an intention to commit the crime. And what is the intention? It is a knowledge of the taxpayer that he is lying, and that he really wants to evade. By means of business associations, we have recommended the government to reconsider the threshold for medium and large-scale businesses. Best international practices should be considered for establishment of optimal and effective threshold. For instance, reasonable threshold amounts should be established in percentages to the turnover of small, medium and large businesses. If you are asking yourself a practical question, what can we do as a business here and now for our organization? We are ready to share with you practical solutions developed by our integrated team. Some of our team members have worked for prosecution office, some for finance, police and tax authorities. We also engaged our industry specialists. And of course, PwC expertise are ingredients for such integrated solutions. Although these solutions may not be a panacea, but they definitely would enable the company to take practical mitigating steps to strengthen your position.
Specifically, they could be aimed at diagnostics and minimization of risks, strengthening of existing policies and procedures, a formalization of decision-making process on controversial tax issues, developing strategy during the tax audit and appeal of the results thereof, interactions with the EIS authorities during investigation, collecting and enhancing the evidence as well as other actions to help your business. In case if you believe that this is something that should be discussed with you, please let us know and we would be happy to do so. Thank you.